Hi guys, today we're going to continue our work on indices and solving equations that involve indices. And we've got a special type today. That is when we have actually got a quadratic equation uh, that is hidden from our view. So have a look at this particular equation here. Uh, we've got 2 to the power of 2x minus 6 times 2 to the power of x plus 8 is equal to 0. Now that probably looks extremely difficult to solve. Uh, but like with all of these problems, eventually you'll see the trick uh, and you'll be able to solve questions like this by yourself. So just hold on for a moment. The first thing to realize is that uh, this can actually be expressed as a quadratic. And the way I'm going to do that is this. Notice this thing here, 2 to the power of 2x. Well, that can be rewritten as 2 to the x to the power of 2, or 2 to the x squared, right? That's using one of the indices rules that we learned before. Now we can just rewrite this. 6 to the power of, uh, times 2 to the power of x plus 8 is equal to 0. And then we can make a substitution. We can say, let y equal 2 to the x. Right? And if we let y equal 2 to the x, then what we're going to get is y squared minus 6y plus 8 is equal to 0. In other words, I, I've taken each one of these 2 to the x terms here and replaced them by the letter y. And so now what should be clear is we've, we actually have got a quadratic here, right? This quadratic, y squared minus 6y plus 8. And that quadratic can be factorized. We're looking for two numbers that add together to give negative 6 and multiply together to give 8. And so that's y minus 2 and y minus 4, right? That's how we solve that quadratic. We factorize it. And so that's going to give us the solutions y is equal to 2 or, or and y is equal to 4. And those are the two solutions. But hang on. Earlier, we said that y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So what we can do is we can take each of these solutions now and apply that, that substitution. So instead of y is equal to 2, we have 2 to the x is equal to 2. And instead of y is equal to 4, we have 2 to the x is equal to 4. And if that's the case, then it's actually fairly easy to solve for x, because in this case, x must be 1, because 2 to the power of 1 is 2. In this case, x must be equal to 2, because 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So in other words, I want, I want you to see is sometimes you can have an equation of this form involving indices that looks very tricky. But actually, what you've got to do is you've got to use a substitution to turn this into a quadratic. You can then solve this quadratic and use the solutions uh, to the quadratic to find your solutions of x. Okay, and the more you do questions like this, uh, the more straightforward, the more plain it will be. Okay, so just have a little bit of confidence to persevere and try, uh, and hopefully uh, you will see it. Okay, so take care, guys. I will see you again next time.